Good morning, everyone. This is a devotion. Uh, beautiful day as we have gathered here. Uh, like uh, when you are watching this, uh, like uh, we are in Igatpuri, uh, like with the body uh, of Christ, and as we gather in His name, we are like it's a beautiful time to be with the body. And thank you for for listening wherever you are. Uh, if you uh, if you are tuned into this uh, devotion, I will start with Luke chapter two. was uh, 12 uh, this is a uh, this this speaks about sign uh, and the sign of uh, jesus who has who is lying in the manger if you know this story like you know i know this like uh, last month we celebrated christmas month and week we had a beautiful christmas eve and new year service and there was a joyful time rejoicing time and uh people came out and we had a wonderful worship and a beautiful message shared by pastor binu uh but today i'll share on like uh, how god chooses and how god prepares and how much he loves us uh this for a few minutes i want to share about how god chooses something for us that how much he loves that he dedicates his life he commits his life his lay down life we can see like uh down to earth will say like you know no no one can measure that love which christ showed uh, uh, like god becoming flesh for us because we are a sinner and jesus died for us when yet while we were sinners uh but if you look at this verse like angel of the lord like how they were showing the sign to the uh, shepherds who uh, uh, and the verse verse 12 says This will be the sign to you. You will find a, a baby uh, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. He was lying in a manger. God was lying in a manger. God became flesh, and he was lying in the manger. There was no place for him, and we know this story very well. Like uh, all over the world, like uh, there was no room. Uh, Joseph and Mary were looking for a room, and there was no room for uh, him. but finally they found found a place in manger uh john chapter 14 quickly will go to that uh, verse like john chapter 14 like uh, jesus promises the disciples like let not your heart be troubled you believe in god believe also in me verse 2 says in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told you told you i go to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you to myself and where i am there you may be also like god is like uh, like you know christ is promising here like in my father's house are many mansions but when he was on this earth there was no place for him he was lying in the manger there was no preparation for him there was no room to receive him but here he is preparing a place for us like in his house there are many mansions it will be beautiful day when he will come back and receive us and he will going to take us to that place where he has built and he is going to show see this is a place i built for you and that will be amazing and so much of room in his heart for us like that that will be the real christmas when we go there and and and, and he receives us and he says wow when you were here on this earth nobody received you and when you were babe uh, you were swaddling in clothes and 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 nobody received you in the room and there was no place and and how you were like uh, lying in the manger and and while we uh, uh, we meet Christ uh, in rapture or uh, the time when the time is up uh, we are going to see that place that God has built for us like if you see Matthew chapter 8 again uh, scribe is saying that i want to follow you when jesus beautifully answers like you know matthew chapter 8 verse 20 19 says the certain scribe came and said to him teacher i will follow you wherever you go like uh, and jesus said to him foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head nowhere to lay his head if you see the uh, beautiful picture in the boat like jesus was laying his head in that boat and he peacefully sleeping and the storm uh hits that boat and it's like waves are like high and you see the commotion in that boat uh, disciples are worried and fearful but jesus is sleeping with the pillow in in the corner of that boat and 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 he has that simple life and a joyful life and relaxed life uh, uh uh but he says that he he doesn't have place place 
nowhere uh, like my son of man has nowhere to lay his head uh, he was uh, like last closingly closing like you know look chapter 19 you, you know the story about look chapter 19 zacchaeus uh, zacchaeus was a chief uh, uh, like tax collector and uh, he was rich uh, short in stature and uh, was four says so he ran ahead and climbed up into sycamore tree to see him for he was going to pass that way Uh, was five says when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make a haste and come down for today. I must stay at your house. Uh, if you connect all this, like God is interested in a house, like in a house in a sense, not like physical house, but He's interested in a, a spiritual, uh, spiritual life, and He wants to make that thing, uh, like you know, important. like that spiritual doesn't mean that uh, what i do spiritual means the relationship with god and the fellowship with god is important than all the material and then all the physical world and the spiritual life is important and jesus is thinking of that house and and he says i must stay at your house that's important for him he had no place in the manger he was lying in the manger but he had no place in a house that time uh he, he says uh scribe says that certain man the scribe says that i want to follow you wherever you go but he says that i have no place to lay his head uh, uh then you can see here like you know zacchaeus i want to come to your house so uh in his house there is many many mansions many houses and if you compare both like he became poor for us so that we become rich spiritually rich like we have a so rich so much of great richness that we have a fellowship with Christ and we have a bible we have a body of Christ that's a richness uh, we we are rich because we have this with us and uh, one day we'll see that uh, physically we'll see that god is pre- uh, god has prepared a place for us uh, great, that will be a great time amen thank you for listening uh, be encouraged in the lord amen